What is good, everybody? Welcome on back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Curtis. Some call me Bigfoot, and this is my channel. <laughs> Took me way too many times to get that goddamn intro, but there you go. Some tasty riffs from Eddie's, well, not just Eddie, but from Van Halen, Feel Your Love Tonight. Throwing a little bit of a tribute to good old Eddie because my God, this last week has been hell. Um, as we uh, all know, I'm sure you've heard the news. Uh, Eddie Van Halen lost his battle to cancer last week, or two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago now, on the 6th. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a tough one. I definitely haven't had to grieve that hard since, uh, since Steinbeck's passing, that's for sure. So I'm not going to ramble on too long about this, but I just wanted to start the video off. Throw a huge thank you to Eddie for everything he's ever done. And uh, let's continue celebrating that guy's life through all the art that he's left us and all the tasty, tasty riffs. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this video is a perfect little crossover to uh, show off one of my recent guitars that I have picked up, a 1983 Ibanez Destroyer. Um, because of Van Halen 1, the original record from 1978 was actually mostly recorded on an Ibanez Destroyer. Uh, his was actually, obviously, the earlier edition of this, which was dubbed the Lawsuit Guitars because Gibson threw a big ass uh, lawsuit on them because their guitars were pretty much exact. But that led to this edition of the Destroyer, which honestly is one of my favorite ever. I am so freaking happy to own this thing. Yeah, I uh, grew up playing so much, so much Eddie Van Halen. And uh, the other one besides that was actually Paul Gilbert. So Paul Gilbert was always playing Destroyers, but his were usually pink. Still would love to do a replica of his pink Iceman Destroyer one day, maybe in the near future. Paint it myself, that'd be a lot of fun. I'm always kind of scouring around for more Ibanez guitars. I'm an Ibanez whore. Absolutely love me some, love me some Ibanez. And yeah, so I was looking around on Craigslist and lo and behold, I somehow found an ad for this thing. And the guy was only asking $400, I believe it was. And I threw him a low ball of $300 and he said, sure. So lo and behold, I got this beautiful, beautiful thing for $300. It was not in this condition when I got it, that's for damn sure. It's a little bit like this. Okay, so I got this thing taken apart for the deep clean. I've um, got everything I can off, the neck off, and get this thing clean. It's actually in pretty good condition. I'm gonna be able to keep the regular frets, pull the nut off, I'm gonna pull that little guy off and get this deep clean, all the parts. And something really awesome I found out. This thing is an 83, made in Japan. So stoked. So this paint's actually not bad. So here's what it looked like and with a basic polish. Yeah, cleans up pretty damn good. Before, after. Yeah, the finish was like absolutely disgusting. The guy said that he had it in a uh, storage locker. Um, he w went to like a music store buyout or something like that, like over 10 years ago and then bought the guitar and then put it in a locker and never paid attention to it again. Need to get clear out of his locker. That's where I come in. But uh, some good work into it, restored the finish and I wasn't sure if the finish was gonna be like good by any means until, when, until I saw it in person and then I knew it could be saved. And uh, ooh, ooh. This fire red finish came out so good with a good little polish. Buffing polish. Actually, it wasn't even like, I didn't even use any crazy compounds or buffing materials on this yet. I didn't want to mess with the finish, really. Just kind of like gave it a super polish with like good old guitar cloth. It came out super damn nice. 
Original pickups, original everything. It's even got the uh, uh, boomerang guitar strap pegs. And it's like, yeah, so damn sick. Only thing's missing is the back plate and the whammy bar, but I mean, whatever. This thing's just gonna stay as it is. Basic spec rundown on this guitar. It is a basswood body, basswood, basswood, whichever one you wanna call it. Apparently basswood and birch, it says on the catalog. So I don't know if it's somehow has a birch cap, but I believe it's just a basswood body. Good old maple neck, maple cap on the fretboard. It has possibly a walnut fillet in there, I believe. Ibanez tuners, which are still in like amazing condition. Like everything was like still in such good condition. It's crazy. It was just covered in freaking grime. So yeah, this was part of the, their old X series. They have a couple of flying V's and stuff that Paul Gilbert, well, and also Buckethead used to play and oh, I want him so dang bad. So yeah, this is the original V2 pickup that came in it for early 80s. I mean, this thing, this thing rips, rips pretty damn good. Um, yeah, I'm a bit sloppy at the moment, but it feels so damn good to be riffing again. Uh, playing a bunch of those old Eddie riffs that I uh, grew up on and stuff, you know, you know. sloppy as hell but it feels so dang good to be playing like say this thing is stock as can be it's got these like really rad sure grip knobs that came on it and like uh that, let me see here let me see can you see can you see there you go see how i got that like rubber coating on it they're freaking rad they were gross as all hell so i had to coat i had to like soak those things real damn good uh the only other thing i really had to do is i had to put a brand new nut on it and she rips. There's some new strings on it. They're already dead as hell, covered in all of my dead skin cells. <laughs> so I gotta restring this thing. Probably should have done it before this video, but hey, I've been lazy and it's been hard to get videos going, so let's just make it happen. That's kind of it for the video. I just kind of wanted to get her going, say a big thank you to Eddie for everything, and show you guys this, this sweet old tang tang. If you got any questions about this one, let me know. Um, do you have any 80s Ibanez guitars? The kind of the big thing about the early Ibanez guitars was if you got one of the ones that came from the Fuji Gen factory, they were actually built, that's the stuff over in Japan. And the quality is absolutely top notch. So, I mean, this thing is older than I am and I'm an old bastard, so. <laughs> It plays freaking amazing. That's kind of the, the, what I'm trying to say. It looks like it's all the original frets. There's some little uh, little little playing divots here and there, but I mean that's all all part of the game. And I don't think I'll ever end up having to refret this. I'm just going to keep playing away and enjoying it. So that's kind of it for this video. And um, I'm going to try to make another one soon. I got a, I got a few other things I want to show you. I got a few other projects I want to get into. Thanks for watching today's video. And uh, if you did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button and uh, you'll see lots more videos like this, lots of other random stuff. I got vlogs that I'm into, lots of upcoming projects, but it doesn't take any effort on your end. And if you don't like seeing my face again, you can click this unsubscribe button after the fact. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video sometime soon. I'm gonna get back to riffing.